Hi, this is Susie Henderson with Educause. Thanks for joining me for Online Presenter Coaching, a series of recorded sessions brought to you by the Educause Speaker Concierge. Our goal is to provide you with the tools and information you need to be a successful online presenter. In this short video, you will learn about the Adobe Connect Share My Screen tool, how to enable it, and practice using it for your next Educause online presentation. First, we will take a look at what you can share when using the Share My Screen tool. Basically, any type of content that you can display on one or more computer monitors connected to your computer can be displayed to an audience from within the Adobe Connect meeting room. In particular, Keynote or Prezi presentations must be offered through the Share My Screen tool. Please note that while you share your desktop, you cannot see the Adobe Connect interface, only your desktop. We highly recommend that you have another device logged into Adobe Connect so that you can view what your participants can see. If you have decided that displaying from your desktop will enhance or improve your presentation or seminar, let's look at how to enable the Share My Screen pod. If you are designated as a host in Adobe Connect, locate Pods in the toolbar and click on it. Next, click on Share, and finally, Add New Share. Now click on the down arrow to the right of Share My Screen to display the available three options, which are Share My Screen, Share Document, and Share Whiteboard. Adobe Connect requires you to designate whether you want to display your entire desktop, a specific application, or something from Microsoft Windows. If you select Desktop, you will have the option of sharing either your first monitor or second monitor. It can be helpful to use one monitor as a staging area and drag items to the monitor that is being displayed through the meeting room. Next, click on the first option in the box, which is also Share My Screen. To avoid confusion, make a mental note that the tool or pod name and the menu option have the same name, Share My Screen. You can easily change between desktop, applications, and windows once you are in the Share My Screen mode. When sharing your desktop, it's a good idea to close any applications that you will not use for the presentation. A few presenters have had icons or private content available on their screens, which they found embarrassing. The other options are to share a specific application or window which limits the audience to view only the selected content. If you are using the whiteboard for an activity, you can return to the whiteboard later in your presentation. Share My Screen is a very effective tool to expand your use of Adobe Connect. If you choose to share a specific application or window, here are examples of what you would see. You must first select the radio button to the left of either application or windows. As you can see above, Next, designate the exact application or window that you wish to display by clicking in the box to the left of the application or window. While you are sharing, look for the following control buttons. The Adobe Connect icon can be found in the toolbar in the lower right corner of a Windows machine. And the Stop Sharing will be found in the upper right corner of the application you are sharing. Click on either the button or down arrow to access options such as pause and annotate. Choose window to share. Stop sharing this window. Stop screen sharing. And help. Or you may want to resume sharing. Change the shared display. Choose window to share. Stop screen sharing. Stop control and help. You can even change the type of sharing that you are doing by selecting Choose Window to Share. We all have heard that adage, practice makes perfect, and it's true. 
To become adept at screen sharing will take some practice, and here's how. If you wish to practice using the Share My Screen Pod within Adobe Connect, please email Victoria Fanning or Lauren Benevente at onlineconf, O-N-L-I-N-E-C-O-N-F, at educause.edu to schedule a time to practice using the sandbox or staging room. We love your feedback. Has this little tutorial been helpful? Do you have unanswered questions or feedback? Please feel free to send an email to speakerconcierge at educause.edu. We do listen. There are additional presentations, documents, and information to help you along the way within the Speaker Concierge web pages. We are here to help you. So good luck on your presentation. This is Susie Henderson for Educause.